Hello guys and welcome to this little tutorial I have to set your virtual memory on another drive as a spare drive so that you can have better performance within the games. Okay guys if you go start and in this PC what you're gonna see is your hard drives over there now by mine I've got my main drive the C drive that is where everything is running on then I got my spare drive that it's completely empty that I'm just using for my virtual memory so that it takes away that lag and stutter within the games. Okay guys, so go start and then control panel. Now go system and security. Then go system, advanced system settings. Then settings, advanced and change. Go to D drive, Tick system manage size and set then to C drive and tick no paging file and set when you are done you click OK and then the computer is going to ask you to restart and you restart and then the paging file will be set on the new drive okay guys so here we are in Steam I'm gonna show you guys how to run a squad for any other Steam game in DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 so what you do here is you go to squad and right click and then go to properties. Okay, so once you here you go to launch options and then you can enter hyphen um, DX11 or hyphen DX12 and just press enter. And then you're done, you can close it and run the game. It will either run in DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. Okay. Right guys, what I've done here, I've booted up squad and then I just want to show you the settings that I have. So this is basically just the stock settings when you start the game for the first time. That's the settings I'm running at. And then my audio, I've gone and I switched that to low. So I started up MSI after burner, so I want to show you guys a couple of things. Right? That's the temperature of uh, the graphics card. That's how much the graphics card is being used. That's the megahertz it's running at. That's the fan speed. This is the graphics memory. I've only got 4 gig on board, so you guys can see it's using quite a lot. Um, that is the memory speed in megahertz. This is how much CPU is being used. I've got the i5-4570. Uh, this is my RAM that's being used. And then this is the paging file. And then we're running in DirectX 11. And it's now running in 60 frames. So what I want to explain here, the, the paging file. This is the whole reason why we're doing this. Because this paging file is absolutely huge and it is the cause of topping out your main hard drive because Windows is already doing a lot of stuff. You're running the game, everything. Then on top of that, you're running your paging file. So what we're doing is we're taking this paging file workload off and putting it on a separate drive so it can go work there. Um, Pretty much your lags would be because you don't have enough graphics memory, you don't have enough RAM, and you don't have a SSD. So you're running then all that work is going to your hard drive as virtual memory or paging file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load into the game. show you guys that I've gotten a much smoother game now because I used to have heavy stutters and lags and frame drops and it used to drive me completely nuts then all the fixes on the internet didn't help me at all okay so yes so uh, yeah
So you guys can probably, if you don't want to add just another hard drive, you could probably use a SSD as well. It's the second one for your virtual memory to improve the performance or the speed of that paging file. Otherwise, just uh, maybe get another graphics card with more graphics memory and also more RAM. So, yeah, all these new games, Squad, Warzone, I let loose anything with a big open map is basically going to use, use a lot of your hard drive and that's going to be the weak point in your PC. You guys can already see that paging file is sitting here on 12 gigs. So as we load in, it will probably have a little bit of lag here and there. But as soon as you play, like maybe a minute or two, it's going to be start running smoothly, smoother then. Right, let's see, where are we going? Okay, these guys need people there. Let's choose a gun. Just that one looks fine. Let's not go there anyway. So, go to where the action is. Right. So, a little bit. There when we're loading in. Things should be sorting out now. Okay. Much smoother already. There's a little bit lag like there. And as you play it will go smoother and smoother as the paging file now. Works in Windows. I used to have heavy dead diseases in this game, but now at the moment I can just because I changed it. See that paging file is sitting already at 15 and a half gigs. RAM, RAM is pretty, pretty, pretty much stopped out. Graphics memory is pretty much stopped out. Alright, I can't spawn them, what's going on? Much, much <laughs> so yeah, if you guys got the high end PC, you probably don't have to worry about this, but this is for sure, guys with uh, entry level PCs. Northwest side of the It will help you out with just being able, able to play, play the game, game without that you be freezing up. up frame drops, drops and all that kind of stuff. Alright, all right, cool. I'm gonna end it over there. You guys have a good one? Cheers.